Okay, it's back on. All right. Here, you want to show that to the camera real quick? If I can even pick, pick it, it up. up. <laughs> it looks like a crocodile. It does kind of look like a crocodile. Here, you want to put them on here on the paper towel? Still got a little blue one here. That's okay. What about that one? <laughs> T-Rex. Man, I didn't think they were going to come out this quickly. I mean, they're slowly but surely coming out. Ah! Ah! We just have one downstairs, which I think is the T-Rex again. I don't think we had any T-Rex. This oh, one's this a one's T-Rex. No, it's not. That's a Bronchiosaurus. That's my favorite. It came all out, though. Here, some of them still have some stuff on them. This one's clean. This, yeah, that's why I'm taking it and like, just washing it off. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> all right. There we go. Here, do you want to clean this crocodile guy off? And then this guy has some on his chest. That looks like a crocodile. It kind of does look like a crocodile. I don't know what it is. It's though. cuter than a crocodile, though. What do you think this guy's gonna be? I mean, crocodiles aren't cute, though. Crocodile. Well, you you know, it might be cute to some people. You guys answer us. Do you think crocodiles are cute? We don't. But some people might think they're cute. Because they're animals. Yeah, well, they are. They're reptiles, which is a type of animal. Oh, he got that one cleaned off. He's all clean. Yay. So is this yellow one. And the yellow one's clean too? Mm, there's so much baking soda down there. Oh. Yes, that is what the eggs were wrapped in. Baking soda, food coloring, and water. They're coming apart though. I'm so excited. I'm glad they went quickly. I really thought they were going to take a few days, like it said in the video. But I think since we soaked them in baking soda, it helped. Instead of the normal stuff that you put You're in. supposed to use... Um, to actually do the activity, you need to use um, droppers, and you're supposed to do it like drop by drop. Uh, I was afraid that they weren't going to hatch in time, so hence we soaked it in baking in uh, vinegar, and it works. So if you need to do it quickly, baking soda, just pouring tons and tons of vinegar on top, that will do the trick. Look at the color of the vinegar, though. It is like a gross brown. Um, it was really pretty. Like there's multiple it colors was. of the rainbow. Brown. This one's done. That one's done? All right. Oh, look! Triceratops. It came out. This one's done too. That one's done too? That's the last one. Yeah. It's like barely any vinegar to wash them off with baking soda. I need to find out what these animal names are because I don't know. I feel know like I shouldn't crawl. do that. Do what? This. Probably. Ew! <laughs> That's so gross! <laughs> sort these and we'll come back. Okay, so our dinosaurs are cleaned. And I'll push this down so you can see. And hopefully not have it fall over. Ooh, it's gonna fall over. Okay, so I'm gonna go over what our dinosaurs are. So these two, this orange one and this purple one, oh, they feel gross, are the ankylosauruses. There's two of them. There's a, what color? Orange and what color? Purple. So there's two of those. Put them right here. Hold on, you can't see. Put them right there. This one is my favorite. This is a Bronchiosaurus. You guys have probably seen this in Jurassic Park. Maybe you've seen those. I have no clue. And then this one is the Stegosaurus. Has a lot of horns on them and stuff like that in his tail. I think we did see this in Jurassic Park, if I remember. Triceratops, my favorite color, green, and Lexi's favorite color. And yellow, there's two of those. And then these, we're not sure about, but we think they're sp Spinosauruses. So there's a red one and a orange one, and there's two of those. So these have two, this has two, and these have two, and these have one. And we do have one still hatching downstairs, but I think we're gonna I'll have to wait. Check. You wanna go check on that one? Okay. All right, so Lex is gonna go check on that. I'm gonna sort them into colors so we can see which color we have most of. So there's yellows. Here, I'll push this down. Okay, so we got two yellows, 
one green, two oranges, two reds, and one purple. Sorry, my purple fans and green fans, me and Lexi. We only have one green and one purple. Hopefully, maybe when Lexi comes back up with them, maybe the egg we have downstairs hatched, and we can see what color it is, and maybe a bronchiosaurus will have a friend. There's not enough vinegar. There's not enough vinegar? Okay, pour it in the yucky one and see if it dissolves. Whoa. Alrighty. It's really thick. <laughs> okay, friends. So we're going to wait a little bit and see if that egg dissolves, and then we'll come back, and I will show you if our bronchiosaurus has a friend. All right, friends. We brought it back. It is a bronchiosaurus. I thought so, and it's blue and kind of green. So now the bronchiosaurus has a friend. So now... Oh, and it is blue, and it's the only blue we have. Kind of green. It is kind of green. I think that's from the baking soda. I'll have to tell Miss Amber because I borrowed her dinosaurs. So there is our color coordinates. Blue, purple and blue and green are by themselves. Orange, yellow, and red have some. And now the bronchiosaurus has a friend. So let's move them back into their groups. Do, 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 boop. There's okay. only one that doesn't have a friend. I know, friend. only one doesn't have a friend. Poor guy, we should have made more. <laughs> so he would have had a friend. Oh, there we go. See, Lexi brought one over from the ones that weren't in the baking soda. All right, friends. So the way you do this activity, you get baking soda, water, and food coloring, put it in a bowl. You have to have many little dinosaurs. Miss Amber was nice enough to loan me hers. You make like a slime. I think that's what we did. And you kind of put them together and then you wrap them in saran wrap and freeze them. I froze them on Sunday and today is currently Wednesday. So it did last a few days. You have to freeze them. And apparently if you freeze them, more vinegar it's gonna take to wash them away. So you compact them, wrap them in saran wrap, put them in the freezer. And then you take them out, you unwrap the saran wrap. The saran wrap kind of gets stuck in the like baking soda. That's okay. I just kind of left it on there. And then I put it in a pan, like a roasting pan that I have for Thanksgiving turkey, which I'm gonna have to really, really wash. And then um, just poured baking, uh, not baking, vinegar so, uh, vinegar on it. We used distilled white vinegar, it worked just fine. Makes the room really, very smelly, hence my door is open, my window's open, quite smelly. So I would even suggest doing it outside. But I hope you had a good time and had fun doing our activity. I hope you do it at home. It's really easy, it's really simple to do, and it smells and it has really cool sound and it makes really cool colors when you're dissolving it. So I hope you had fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. You want to say bye, Lex? Bye. <laughs>